Okay, folks, uh, this is going to be a hard video for me to do because we're going to purposefully uh, send 120 volts into a system which is really only designed for 24. And we're going to see what happens. So, I've got it wired up to 120 volts. Um, this is a 24 volt. added to the terminals here and you can see it's it lights up um, if you try to light up 120 volt with 24 volt it, nothing happens but I don't think the opposite is going to be true um, I've got this ready to be powered up and I'm going to throw it off screen to focus in on what we've got uh, so if anybody wants to take any bets uh, I guess uh, freeze the video and uh, put your comments uh, below as to what you think is, is going to happen. All right, if you're back, I'm going to give you my what I think is going to happen. Um, I think uh, these hundred, these two, three watt, 150 ohm uh, voltage uh, reducing resistors are going to cook. Uh, it's probably going to fry up uh, this uh, full bridge rectifier circuit. Probably this resistor and that MOSFET. That's gonna hopefully the chip will survive and we'll be able to uh, harvest it from the from this burned out board. All right. So without further ado, we're gonna. I got my switch on. And let's see. There we are. Uh, the light is lit, and now we're gonna close the uh, the final circuit. Here we go. Wow, okay. All right, the resistors are starting to smoke. Um, but the unit does light. I'm glad I'm doing this outside. So I'm gonna let it run for about a minute. Okay, resistors are burning up. And we have a fire, so we're going to, um, whoa, whoa, <laughs> uh, this is for science, kids. Okay, well, I think, uh, I think that, uh, dead did it. What I'm going to try to do next is I'm going to uh, try cleaning this up and replace these resistors and see if uh, I can get this thing operational. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much. I hope this was uh, educational. And uh, yeah, <laughs> take care.